He forces the miss from his opponent. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. What a body kick. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used his punch to get to the target. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and punches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that imperative. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Quick level change. Oh, he see. went single, rotated head outside. This dude's going for a ride. Oh. To the well with the elbow. That one landed clean again. Oh, wow. That happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow. What a transition. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, side control now. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Just over three minutes to go, round one. How good is that right hand? Big hook. Oh! Able to check that kick as well. Double leg shot. Oh! The canvas is shaking as he slams him down. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, the ground and pound is there. All right, close guard now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Good stick. Shot of double leg. Oh, slams his opponent to the ground. Elbow lands for him. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal? Trying for a submission here. Stairs for an elbow. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this? And he landed the right hand there. Oh, he does it again, takes this fight right back to the ground one more time. This is exactly what he told us on Thursday. They're going for a submission. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to... And he's out. 
back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. The horn sounds for the end of round one. So that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Well, his opponent tonight has done a good job of getting back to his feet, and just as I say that, planning on his back again. Another takedown over and over and over. Look, man, I'm a wrestler, and I love it. Do something different. Press punch. <laughs> Do one of the special moves. I mean, geez. Uh, that's that's a triangle takedown. choke here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Nice. Nicely done. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to Working start. Working on another submission attempt here. some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. Here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down for the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Nice double leg takedown attempt there, and you got to think that's something that's going to give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over? Now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Well, maybe cranking the neck a little bit. The question is, can he get that rear naked choke? He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking, because he's getting choked. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, 
but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction, you throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke lock. It was perfect. It was a perfectly placed shot, and you see his opponent reacting violently from that front. Just missed with the left there. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Well, as my favorite rap group, Onyx, would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Got clipped with the right hand. Oh, a huge block there. Big punch from the clinch. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get the slam. Double leg shot. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. So there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action. And if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. Shots here in the ladder stick. Right up the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like he's getting in deep. up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty for this position. Setting up a sub here. Trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Oh, nice. Oh, nice job using Oh, man, that was slick. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. Oh, now 
trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's gonna tag off bar here. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Oh, you gotta watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. is pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach, quick entry here. Nice single leg entry, rotates the head outside to a high crotch. Oh, oh my God, he switched the lock to a high crotch, rotated him and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Now potentially working on a submission instead. Oh, he's got the choke. And he's out. Now he's able to isolate that left arm. Look for him to step over the top of the head. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, and he pins the arm down, and that is it. So the he tap got, comes shortly thereafter. He got the arm straight. Like the moment he was able to break the lock, John, his opponent was in trouble. Hip pressure up. Opponent had to tap. And he tapped, and he lives to fight another day, but a huge win for his opponent by submission tonight. Watch a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at four minutes, 25 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out.